Today we're going to be talking about what's lurking in my kitchen. Fermenty goodness, that's what. Hi everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistics and in this video I'm going to be talking about what's growing in my kitchen. Positively, we're talking about fermentation of bacteria and some yeast. First up is Korean kimchi, a spicy fermented cabbage that helps boost your immune system. The premise is that if you pack your gut with good bacteria, it leaves little to no space for bad bacteria to propagate and cause trouble. Miso paste is a soybean product and serves as another source of good bacteria. Add it to slightly cooled soup so they remain alive when you consume it. Gochujang is a sweet and spicy condiment made from fermented soybean. The fermentation of soy not only makes nutrients more accessible, but it also helps break down the potentially harmful properties like phytic acid in unfermented soy products. Phytic acid inhibits absorption of minerals such as calcium and magnesium. Tempeh is my favorite fermented soy product. While the other ones I talked about are much saltier, tempeh is milder in taste and can easily adopt your choice of flavors. It supports gut health by protecting the intestinal lining and often is used as a vegetarian source of protein. Next up, I have kefir. I received some kefir grains from a friend. They gobble up milk sugars, making milk more digestible, and they fart out the gas. It makes dairy easier for the body to handle because they're essentially pre-digested and also contain biotin, folate, and various other minerals and nutrients. I've also got yeast working on processing some bread dough. The best bread to consume is true sourdough. Apparently, even though the baking process kills off the good bacteria, sourdough still retains some of the beneficial qualities of probiotics, like being easier for our bodies to digest. At any given moment, I've got pickled mustard in my fridge. Fermenting vegetables like this, like the Napa cabbage I spoke about earlier, and choosing a variety of healthy bacteria foods gives you different strains of probiotics. This is important because there are beneficial qualities unique to each strain. For example, one study showed Lactobacillus acidophilus, the one often in yogurts, had no effect in reducing gut inflammation, but Lactobacillus salivarius LS33 did. Interestingly enough, the strain Lactobacillus paracasi worsened the inflammatory response. I've included the abstract to the study that I'm talking about in the description box below, but it supports the idea to consume different types of bacteria and yeasts for whole health. So thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope you enjoy what you see. If you do, please remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to like this video.